Recap. Robbie Mouse is busy on the blackboard. He is reminding you of the basic shapes. A rectangle has four sides. A triangle has three sides. And a circle has zero sides. And a square has four sides. These shapes can also be seen in solid structures. Robbie is ready to demonstrate this. He picks up a block. You can see the four-sided rectangular shape. He picks up the blue block. You can see the three-sided triangular shape. He picks up a red sphere. And you can see the circular shape. Robin now picks up the pink block and shows the four-sided square shape where all sides are equal. Thank you, Robbie, for revising all this. Closed Curves Teacher Lucy is on the board to show some shapes she is drawing. All the shapes 1, 2, 3 and 4 at the top have a curved side and are called Closed Curves. Lucy Ma'am draws two more shapes. These are made up of line segment and have no curved sides. Types of Polygons Tita Nancy is on the board making some figures with straight line segments. She makes a three-sided triangle, a four-sided quadrilateral, a five-sided pentagon, a six-sided hexagon, a seven-sided heptagon, and an eight-sided octagon. All these shapes are examples of polygons. Poly means many. And guns roughly means sides. So, figures with three or more sides are called polygons. Thank you, ma'am. Fun Math Teacher Lucy is here for some fun. She draws figures and asks you to count the rectangles. The first figure has three rectangles. The second figure has four rectangles. And the third figure has six rectangles. Interesting fact, ma'am. Common Solids T.T. Lucy is showing some solid blocks that she has on her table. She draws the shape on the board. This is a cube. It has six equal sides. This is a cuboid or a rectangular box with three pairs of equal sides. This is a sphere which is a circular ball with no sides. This is a cylinder with two circular sides at the top and bottom. This is a cone with a curved triangular side and a circular bottom. Remember their names and shapes. A cone, a cylinder, a sphere, a rectangular box and a cube. Fine, ma'am. Nets of a cube. Here is a cube with an open top and bottom. It is made of four square sides. One, two, three, four. If you open up the sides, this is what they look like. Now, let's see how you get the cube frame by folding these sides. Here it is. If we add the bottom face and number the sides, they will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Here, look how these fold up to make the cube. Let's see the entire cube with 6 sides. 
If you open it up, one will be the bottom face. Two, three, five, and six will be the four sides, and four will become the top. Here it folds, and you watch. Circle. Rabi Mouse draws a perfect circle on the board. He marks O as the center of the circle. He draws a line connecting the center with the curved outline of the circle and marks it OR, called radius. Rabi draws a line PQ across the circle, passing through the center and labels it diameter. Finally, he draws a line to the side connecting the curved outline but not passing through the center as AB. He labels it chord. Robbie explains that in a circle the diameter is always twice the radius. Interesting fact Robbie. That was fun. Symmetrical and asymmetrical shapes. Shapes that can be divided into at least two equal halves that are mirror images of each other are called symmetrical shapes. Here are some shapes. A tumbler, a stool, a triangle and an octagon. Here is the outline of a factory building. This is asymmetrical because it cannot be divided into mirror duplicates. Thus, letter K and letter J both are asymmetrical.